Hey guys, my name is Anna and in this tutorial today we will control the LED on this wiring with Raspberry Pi with the help of the Blink app and I will show you two different ways to do that. Are you ready? I'm filming this video with the daylight and it changes all the time so sorry for that. So first I have to open the Blink app, you can upload it from the Google Play or App Store. When you are logged in, as I am now, you can create a new project. Let's name it Raspberry LED and select the device. My Raspberry Pi is the third edition and our connection type will be Ethernet. Great project. Let's add a button to control the LED. Place it here. And our pin for this button will be GP18. That means that I'm going to connect my wiring to GP18 pin. Let it be in the switch mode. Here is the auth token to control your device. You have to save it somewhere. Let's send it to our email. And here is the token. So now we're ready to set up the Raspberry Pi. So moving to the wiring part. For this wiring, I've used the tutorial, which will be linked in the description of this video. You can notice that in that tutorial, they used the 330 ohm resistor. I don't have this type, so I've used two 220 ohm each resistors and connected them in series. Because of this, my LED will look like more dimly. I'm connecting the Raspberry Pi with my router via USB cable, the ground cable with the third pin on the Raspberry Pi, and the data cable to the D18. Also, do not forget to connect the Raspberry Pi to the electricity, so I'm going to plug this to the power socket. Bear in mind that sometimes you have to wait for several minutes after connecting the Raspberry Pi to your router before trying to connect to it. And now we can open the terminal. Now we're going to connect to the Raspberry Pi via SSH. And for that you have to find out the IP of the Raspberry Pi in your local network. Default user on the Raspberry Pi is PI, so we're running this command SSH PI at and the IP of the Raspberry Pi in your network. Uh, it asks for the password. The default password is Raspberry. Now we're connected to the Raspberry Pi. So to find out what to do next, we have to go to help.blink.cc and look for Raspberry. And we are going to follow this instruction, how to install Node.js library on Linux. You will find this link in the description of this video. So the first step, before updating Node.js, please be sure to remove old versions. So we are going to run these comments one by one. And the next one. Previous Node.js versions have been removed. Now we're ready to start the installation. Let's try the automatic Node.js installation first. Just in case anything goes wrong with the automatic Node.js installation, we can use the manual Node.js installation part, but I hope that everything will work well. So right now we're adding new repositories. When it's done, we can go on and install the Node.js now. So now it asks uh, if I want to continue because additional disk space will be used. I'm typing Y to say yes. Now we have to wait till it's done. Well, it took a while to install it, but now it's done. Uh, let's run the second command. So it seems like everything went well, but to check that for sure, you can go to check your Node.js and NPM installation. So after installation, my NPM version is 3.10.10 and Node version is 6.10.2. Now we should move to install Blink globally part and run the first command. You have to install Blink library to use Blink application with your hardware. And now we're running the second command. Installing on off will allow to perform direct pin operations. Some default sketches are already built into the Blink library and we're going to run one of them right now. So now let's run the default Blink client. 
We should replace their your auth token with the auth token which was sent to your email while setting up the project in the Blink application. Now I'm placing it right here and running this comment. So this is exactly our successful message. Let's try to control the LED from the Blink application now. So firstly run the project. Turn the button on and we can see that the LED lights up and turn it off and it lights down. As you can see, everything works well, but let's try to do the same using the virtual pins in the Blink app. By the way, you can check out my previous video about the virtual pins in the Blink app and simple examples how to use them. We will follow the creating a new Node.js project with Blink. So firstly, let's create a new Node.js module with local Blink library dependency. Now we have to agree with the creating a new JSON file, which is our project description. So we are tapping yes. Now let's add Blink library to our new project. So we can check that Blink library is installed and add it to our project. Let's also install the on off to control pins directly. Now we can create a JavaScript file in any text editor you want. The example of my sketch, you can find it in the description of this video. Let's take a closer look to our simple code. So our write function takes the value from the button. And if button sends one, it lights up the LED. If it's anything else, it just does nothing. Also, it prints the value to the console. And do not forget to place your auth token to the code. So next we have to save this JavaScript file. Let's name it index.js. And we have to copy it to our project folder on the Raspberry Pi. For that, I'm using this comment. Uh, you can see that it took some time for me to find the proper way to place it. And now I'm ready actually to run it with the node index.js command. And now the script is running and we can check how it works with our Blink application. So let's run our project once again and check if our virtual button works. I'm clicking the virtual button on and we can see that button actually lights up and lights down, lights up and lights down. So now we can control LED both with the digital pin button and with the virtual pin button. That's cool. I hope you liked this video and do not forget to subscribe to the Blink channel for more upcoming tutorials and have a nice time playing with the Blink application. Bye!